What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, why am I even looking? I don't even know. I already know what we're doing. We're coming back to Ghost. Yes, indeed. Ghost fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from dwit6642, and dwit6642 wanted to see me react to this song by Ghost, I believe it's pronounced Dance Macabre. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on. Yeah, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. All right, uh, the whole reason I'm doing this big block of reactions is uh, I'm gonna be, uh, well, let me back up. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I received the package in my PO box from a viewer named Daryl, who apparently is a big Ghost fan. And uh, he saw a few of my reactions to Ghost and he decided to uh, have me get on board the Ghost train. So he uh, sent me some really nice merch, uh, a few shirts from Ghost. And he also gifted me a ticket to go and see them perform live out here in LA. Uh, he had an extra ticket that he's not gonna be able to utilize, so he gifted it to me. Didn't ask for anything in return. And uh, Daryl, that was really cool of you, man. I, I'm really looking forward to the live show. I really am. Um, from what I've been reading in the comments, uh, I'm not gonna really get these guys until I go and I see them play live. So I'm looking forward to it. I've heard some really good things. No one spoiled anything for me, thankfully and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Um, he didn't ask for anything in return either. He uh, he, he didn't ask for money or, or, you know, ask for, he didn't even ask for these reactions. He recommended that uh, I do some more reactions to Ghost before I go and see them play live. And I, I totally agree with you on that one, Daryl. I think it would be a smart move for me to get a little more acclimated with the band before I go and see them play live. And he suggested a few songs. Uh, he actually suggested five songs. So I said, you know what? Let me take a look in the queue. Let me see if they're in there. And I went into the queue and I looked and sure enough, all five songs were in the queue. So I said, you know what? Why not? It's gonna benefit everybody. It's gonna benefit me by giving me more exposure to Ghost. It's gonna benefit all the viewers because more reactions for them to enjoy. And uh, it's gonna benefit the queue because I just took five songs out of the queue and shrunk it down just a little bit more. So everybody wins so i'm i'm happy about this um so yeah we're gonna get to this this is the this is my fifth reaction now for them for this block i think it's my 10th reaction to ghost overall i'm not 100 sure about that but um this should give me a good a good sense um uh, the songs that daryl recommended were songs that he believes they're going to be performing live so you know I, there's that to boot so i'll be a little more familiar so when i go and see them perform live they'll play these songs and I'll be more familiar with them, which will be great. Um, let's see, this was posted by Ghost. Mm, surprise, surprise. And the video has 40 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Ghost, Dance Macabre official music video. Wah, wah, wah. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, yes, there's that word official. Official music video coming off the official page. You know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it. Um, I will say, I have not been blocked by Ghost yet. They have never blocked me. I'm batting a thousand with them, so hopefully that trend keeps up. And uh, hopefully we won't get blocked. Let's we'll wait and see what happens. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Aha, uh -huh, LA. I, I get it. Los Angeles is a weird place, man. This is the place, man. I'm not sure, man. Party, party! Can I help you, boy? Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're here for the party, man. What party? The party? You know, the party? I mean, I'm looking right at a party here. D a disco chicks? You know, we're here for the... Oh, right. You mean this party? We've been expecting you. That is never a good sign. That 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 is instant, instant time to uh, do an about face and hit the gas. <laughs> you show up unannounced to a party that you are with complete strangers, and they look and go, "Oh, we've been expecting you." Listen, we have seen all of these horror movies. We all know how they all turn out. Don't be a sucker. Turn around and leave. That that would be my suggestion. Yikes. <laughs> I would say, uh, pause, <laughs> thank you, gotta go. Shh. About face and run. Oh, the guy's giving me Riff Raff vibes. For those of you uh, who are familiar with the Rocky Horror Picture Show, tell me that guy is not giving you slight Riff Raff vibes. normally pay attention to music videos if you've been following my channel for any amount of time you know i pay very little attention to music videos unless i'm told by the requester that that's what they want me to react to then i obviously i'll watch but i've been noticing a trend with ghosts it seems like their music videos are getting more and more extravagant like there's more and more detail according to each one as we've progressed so I don't know if that's intentional, accidental. I, I don't I don't know. Not hundred percent sure. I'm guessing this is the song now.
I was so distracted by the plague doctor masks that I was like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand what's up with the plague doctor masks, but whatever. Uh, this song is. <laughs> how do I put this? How, how do I put this without coming off as insulting? Uh, this song is cheesy. <laughs> This song is absolute cheese. Uh, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. It is catchy as hell. It is hooky as hell. Um, would I call this metal? Absolutely not. This is like disco rock. I mean, I mean, just if you listen to the beginning, the the whole opening, the, the opening riff is like, oh my god, I I've heard like fifty other songs that sounds exactly like that. You would be right. You would be absolutely right. Um, it's smart songwriting. Now, listen, I'm not talking about from a complexity standpoint. I've, I've, I don't even have to touch my bass. I don't even have to touch my bass. I've already figured the song out. It's not hard. Uh, but you know what it is? It's intelligent songwriting. Not from a complexity standpoint, but from a marketability standpoint. This song is hooky. It is catchy. Um, to the point of being slightly cornballish. And I'm sure Ghost fans are going to be like, well, this is the greatest song they've ever written. No, it's not. No, it's not. Compare this to Call Me uh, Little Sunshine. Compare this to Cerise. Uh, Compare this to, uh, well, oh, Bible, I found out was a cover. Uh, compare this to Square Hammer, you know? No, th this, no. Those songs are far more uh, impressive. Those songs are far more uh, heavy, too. This is like dance music, pretty much. I mean, this is, and I'm, I'm not saying this, to, I'm not saying this to try to be insulting, and believe it or not, I'm giving this a compliment. Uh, it is, it is so, I, I hate to say it, but it's so cornballish. It's, it's undeniably appealing to the ear. And it's undeniably, undeniably marketable. I can absolutely, we're only a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, okay. Well, the music video was like, what? The whole, for, the whole opening statement was a minute and a half. So really, we're only about a minute and a half into the actual song. I can already tell you, th this song is marketable. Absolutely. Commercials, television, movies, video games, uh, sporting events. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, maybe. Maybe. I, you know, I can see it. I don't know about football. I don't know about basketball. Well, maybe basketball. Uh, hockey. Yeah. Hockey. Hockey games. I can see this being use the hockey games during the dance cam <laughs> we're gonna turn the camera on you show us your best dance move bam here comes this song i can absolutely see it anyway let's let's keep going here it keeps on giving me chills but i know now oh my god it's like disco i feel the closer we there in the chorus that time compared to what we heard the first time 
I want to hear that again. That actually sounded really good. How many songs? How many great songs? How many memorable songs? How many big hits have you heard where the drums do that? That and that and that 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 that. You know, it's it's such a commonplace pattern. And I, the, here's the sad part. I saw it coming. I did when they went into the do da do da do do da do da do da. I saw it coming. I was like, how are they going to get out of this? How much do you want to bet they're going to go to the old dot and dot and dot 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 dot? How much do you want to bet that's where they're going to go? And sure enough, <laughs> it delivered. It absolutely delivered. But here's the thing. Again, memorable. Memorable. You remember that. You remember that from songs that you heard 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. You do. Because... It, a pattern like that has been used in how many hit songs over the years, over the decades in the history of music? Tons. So when you hear that, it brings back those good feeling vibes. You hear that, do da, do da, do do da, do da. And you hear that and it instantly transports you to those good feelings of these songs that you remember from your youth, from your childhood, from your high school days, whatever. You you had those hit songs that had the exact same feels, the exact same patterns, and it brings you back there, and it makes you smile, it makes you feel good. And then when you hear the dat and dat and dat 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 dat, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> very, very nostalgic, and I, I dig that, I do. The more I'm listening to this song, the more I'm liking it, the more I'm getting into it. I'm I'm starting to buy into it now. I, I, I'll be honest with you guys. Okay, we had to get through all the music video garbage first before we got to the actual song. Once the song kicked in, about the first minute to a minute and a half, I was like, eh, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's marketable. I don't know if I'm really digging the song, but it's, I see the appeal, I see the marketability. We're coming up with only like 30 seconds left of the song. And I, I got to tell you, folks, uh, this it, it's won me over. I'm 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 actually I'm actually like digging the song now. So there's that. <laughs> Here we go again. One more time. <laughs> I wanna be with you, I wanna be with you all night. 
Yeah, we've seen that movie before. The dance party with a bunch of vampires, and then they throw on the fire sprinklers instead of water. It's blood coming out. Oh, yeah. And then Wesley Snipes shows up and proceeds to just eliminate everybody. Yeah, we all know the movie. We've all seen it. <laughs> oh, music videos. Oh god. Anyway, <laughs> um, this was an interesting one. This was an interesting one. This is a something happened during the course of this song that doesn't happen a whole lot on the channel. So uh, we'll talk about it. I promise you, we'll talk about it. Let me get my, let me get my thoughts together, and I'll see you in the review. And yeah, we will definitely talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Ghost with Dance Macabre. This was a request from Dewitt six six four two. Uh, this was a weird one. Th this was a weird one. And the reason it was weird is because something happened during the course of me watching this and listening to it. Something happened that doesn't happen too often on the channel. It, 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 it's happened before. It's happened a few times. But it's... Listen, I, two th I, I don't know how many reaction videos I've done, but I know it's been over 2,000. Out of 2,000 videos I've done for the channel, I think this has only happened maybe 15 to 20 times total. Uh, that's like 1% <laughs> of the videos I've ever done on the channel. And this this now can be added to that very short list. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about in a second here. Let's, let's start off with the score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.0. Yep, 8.0. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, let's let's fast forward through the first minute and a half because let's be honest, folks, that first minute and a half, it was just it was just video. It was just music video. It it had absolutely nothing to do with the song whatsoever. So like that first minute and a half, just get it out of there. Um, when the song actually kicked in, I was, I heard that guitar riff and I was like, okay, this has got potential. This is going to go somewhere. And then everything else kicked in with it. The, 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 the piano part and the organ part and the bass kicked in and the drums kicked in. And I was like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this after all. The guitar riff sounded great. Do 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 do. I was like, okay, it, it's it's got a hook there for sure. Uh, it feels good. It sounds it sounds like this could have potential. And then there, everything else kicked in. And it became very poppy, like very poppy sounding, like borderline disco sounding. And I was like, oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, fine. We'll go with it. And if like I said, if I could, the first minute and a half I listened to this and I was I could see the appeal. I could absolutely see the appeal. I I, I saw the marketability. I, I I could see the I could absolutely see the commercial value in what was happening here. It is hooky, it is catchy. Absolutely. It's easy to listen to. You can use that song anywhere and it, it'll work. It'll absolutely work. And it'll, it's memorable. It sticks with you. It absolutely does. Um, and I was like, okay, well, <laughs> brace yourself another, uh, about another four minutes. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll go with it. Uh, yeah, no, about three minutes, maybe. But uh, yeah, by that point, uh, we were at the, Three minute mark, so there like two and a half minutes. I was like, just buckle in, let's just let's just get through it. Um The more I listen to it, and here's the weird thing, and this this is why I'm talking about when I said like maybe one percent of the videos I've ever done on the channel this has ever happened. Over the course of the song, the song won me over. And that does not happen very often. It's not often where I'll start off listening to the song and I'm like, I don't know about this. And by the end of the song, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And I'm even, 
I'm even grooving to it. I'm even, I'm, I'm even doing this. You know, I'm like, huh. I caught myself doing this. I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to enjoy it. Um, that does not excuse the, the, the poppiness. <laughs> it does not excuse the, the borderline disco, especially with the, I, I figured out what it was that was really triggering the disco feels for me was the tambourine. You could hear the tambourine on those six seat notes, man. You could hear it. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and it's just nonstop, especially through the chorus. You can definitely hear it on the chorus. Um, I'm not saying all those feels went away. What I'm saying is they won me over, which is weird. <laughs> it's really weird. I was ready at the minute and a half mark. I, I was already coming up with what I was going to say. And I was going to say things like I usually say in situations like this, where it's not my cup of tea. It's not blowing my skirt up. It, it's not, it's not what I normally listen to. You know, I, I was ready to say all these things. And I got to tell you folks, by the time the song was over, I didn't really feel the need to say those things because I was into it. I was absolutely into it. So is it the best song I've ever heard from ghost? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, I have heard better songs from Ghost for sure. I've done a few reactions at, during this giant five, five song block. Uh, Cerise is the first one to come to mind. Um, even the last one I did, Rats. Um, th it was, this has a very similar sound. I wonder if these two songs came off the same album. I know, I know Ghost has done like how many albums? Three albums, four albums, five albums now. I wonder if these two songs came off the same album because they have a very similar tone. Like the guitar tones are like almost identical. Uh, the bass tone is identical. The mix in the drums is almost identical. I mean, it sounds very, very similar from a mixing and engineering standpoint. So I'm willing to bet these two songs probably came off the same album. Um, between the two, I, I prefer Rats. I, I think Rats is a stronger song, but uh, this is, a very commercially available song um and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you can make a lot of money with uh commercially available songs uh especially when it comes to you know licensing it for movies television you know stuff like that so in publishing rights absolutely uh so i i could i could see this song being very very popular i, I wonder if the song was a big hit i wonder if it was i'll bet it was i i, I can see the general public really digging this like hardcore metalheads, probably not gonna dig the song as much. Um, and like I said, like I said, the first minute and a half, I really wasn't digging it. It wasn't until I think we got to the guitar solo and we got through the guitar solo, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm I'm really starting to buy into this, and I did. I absolutely bought into it. Um, vocally, very typical of the ghost style, a little nasally, you know. But what I was reading in the comments and what I've read on my own, on my own research, uh, Tobias was never intending for himself to be the vocalist. He always meant to find someone else to be the lead vocalist for the, for the, for the, for the group. He was intending, I think he was intending for himself to be the guitar player, if I, if I remember correctly from what I read, but he couldn't find anybody. Not, not even friends that he had in the industry wanted to be a part of this group. So. He had to take it upon himself. Now, I'm willing to bet those same friends of his are probably kicking themselves and going, you know what? Uh, if you're still looking for a lead vocalist, I'll, I'll take the job. Yeah, no, man, sorry, that ship sailed. You you missed out. Um, I know he's not, he doesn't have the best technique when it comes to vocals, but you know what? He gets the job done. He absolutely does. Uh, and what he does and how he sings has become kind of a, signature sound for this band from what I can tell. I mean, I, I'm trying to imagine anybody else singing songs like this or like Cerise or like Square Hammer or uh, or, uh, you know, Call Me Call Me Little Sunshine or anything like that. And I'm trying to imagine anybody else singing them. I'm like, doesn't it doesn't sound right in my head. I, I'm sure there are better singers out there that could sing this stuff, but I don't think it would sound right. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's it's a weird one, man. This is a weird one. This is one of those very rare instances where the song actually won me over. And I like it when that happens. I do. It, it 
it it definitely throws a curveball into my life and i i like having those curveballs thrown into my life because it doesn't hurt me in any way shape or form it doesn't affect my life it just you know it makes me look at things a little differently and appreciate things a little differently so there, there's always a positive there so yeah 8.0 i feel good with that score i'm not going to change it and that is where we're going to stay so 8.0 final score i have spoken well, that's going to do it for this special edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.